Well, good morning. Back on the trail. It's a nice, cool morning. Hopefully it will last for a while. It is Sunday, June 2nd, and we are climbing Apple Orchard Mountain. It's about a three mile up. <laughs> right now, it's not too bad, a lot of switchbacks. Um, but it's gonna take a couple hours to get up there. And then we go through the guillotine. Uh, that's a high, that's a focal point for this morning. And then uh, the rest of the day, just a little roller coaster, but with a tendency to come down all day. So, should be pretty good. Roy, the 68 year old that I'm hiking with, who is already out of sight. <laughs> But I got a heavy, heavy pack. Uh, I got a little more food to add it to my weight, which I'm already overpacked on food, but it's stuff. I got a box of honey buns, and I got a whole jar of roasted nuts, which have a high calorie intake per serving. So, up oh, there's Roy. So, uh, these are things I didn't have that I'm adding to my diet. All right, talk to you later. All right, made it to the top of uh, Apple Orchard Mountain. It wasn't as bad as uh, we thought it was going to be. It was a lot of switchbacks, uh, and it was probably a 10 degree uh, slope. So it wasn't wasn't too bad. Uh, I'm glad it was easier than what we had thought. I like it when it's that way. I don't like it when it's hotter than what we thought. <laughs> so finally, we have a good a good climb. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get storms today because there's a front coming. It's supposed to be high of 66 tomorrow, and it's. Uh, you know, we've been looking at 80s here. So we're going to have a battle at some point today. Here it is. We have 4200 Apple Orchard Mountain, 4225. Look at this place. I think it's a weather radar. Somebody said it was aviation, but that looks like a weather radar. Could be aviation, but usually they're not that big. All right, which, which is the path? I guess we're taking this one, yeah. I don't know where Roy went. He uh, He's booking it down, I guess. Uh, and then we have Debbie behind us. Um, she's she's um, struggling. Uh, so I'm in the middle. Next on our... Uh, on our... Um, highlights of this mountain is the uh, guillotine that should be coming up at some point uh, I guess we're coming down oh, well we, we are definitely at the highest point so we will be going down now the rest of the day uh, all right so not much of a view because it's super super hazy I can't even see the mountains across the valley, so that's how thick the uh, haze is. But it's cool. Oh, it is so nice hiking today. Oh, we might be able to do that 15. If it stays like this with the breeze, oh, yeah. I think it'll be a good, good day. And I am loading up with calories so I don't crash. Um, I'm, I'll figure this freaking thing out. Hopefully you people will learn by by what I'm going through here. Uh, it doesn't hit you at once. It takes takes a month or so uh, before your body finally crashes, and you gotta you have to readjust uh, your whole calorie, energy, sleep, <laughs> all that stuff. Okay, Thunder Ridge Wilderness. Oh, I don't like the sounds of that. Um, okay. 
Well, we're going down anyway, so hopefully. All right, folks. Get back to you later. Now, here we go. <laughs> this is what they call the guillotine. Look at this thing. <laughs> hopefully it won't slide now. Stay up there, you. Oh, that looks dangerous. Oh, man. That looks fucking dangerous. Ooh. was pretty wild yeah there it is the guillotine yeah that would be the guillotine if it ever slid down and you were underneath that freaking thing that's pretty awesome let me take a picture from this way too all right this is thunder ridge overlook uh my wife will remember this and maybe a couple of my buddies who are watching. Uh, we did a motorcycle trip through the Smokies, not Smokies, Blue Ridge Parkway oh, many years ago. And we had to pull off this little parking area here because we were in the middle of a huge thunderstorm. Lightning coming down everywhere, torrential rain. And we, we pulled over at, on Thunder Ridge. <laughs> And I'll show you later. All the rocks, a lot of the trees have lightning strikes on them. It is incredible. And this is the spot we decided to park and wait out a thunderstorm. It was the stupidest thing we ever did. <laughs> but this is the overlook, and this is what you're looking at. This is, this is just awesome. And uh, now I'm hiking the trail instead of riding my motorcycle along it. And look at this view. Un unbelievable just unbelievable I'll uh, zoom in a little bit more again this is Thunder Ridge on the Blue Ridge Parkway and believe me it's it's rightly named Thunder Ridge oh yeah look at that rock slide right there look at that wow Man, is it nice and cool. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful day. Oh, I am just, I am just, it's windy and I like that because it's keeping it nice and cool here. All right, we're going to take a 20 minute break. We're going to load up on carbs and liquids and we'll hit the trail again. All right. All right. Just had lunch. Um, went over the, the afternoon plan, so we have eight miles to get to the uh, next shelter with water, and that would give us 15 miles for the day. That's our goal here on end is when we hike, try to get 15 in plus if we can. So it's uh. 20 minutes or two, so we'll be getting in around 6, 6.30, probably 6.30, and uh, that'll be good. So that's our goal. Uh, there's Roy, myself, and then Debbie behind us. She's kind of following us. Um... That's going to be a stretch for her, though. That will be one of her biggest days. So we don't know how long she's going to hang in with us. Uh, but Roy's up ahead. He's faster uphill. But he's the slowest turtle downhill. So I'll catch him once we crest and we start coming down. I'm the fastest turtle going down. We called ourselves turtles now because we're slow <laughs> so I'm the I'm the fastest slower hiker down he's the fastest elder hiker going up but we are the turtles we call ourselves the turtles all right this is only a 700 mile 700 foot climb so 
it's not too bad. And then I'll be down the rest of the day to the James River. That's where we're headed eventually. All right. All right. Humidity hasn't really, has it not that high. It's warm, but it's not oppressive like it was. So that's, that's helping us today. Plus, I'm on this new food regiment. A lot of carbohydrates, a lot of protein, peanut butter, almonds. What else did I have? Peanut butter, almonds, and just fatty, fatty calories, like the honey buns and stuff like that. So, seems, I think it's working. I'll know, a couple, we'll give it a couple more days, but I think that combination is going to help. So, uh, that should help get me through these afternoons where I've been normally dying. So, whew. All right. Let you know how I make out <laughs> a little later on. All right. Look at that. Now that's a picture. Wow. I love that. That that's awesome. All right. The video of the trail. Okay. All right. Whoops. There we go. Okay. All right, we just did our last climb for the day. Uh, coming down in the Glasgow, Virginia. And then the next town after that, in uh, I think two days, will be Waynesboro. So we are, and we're, we're only two days from hitting the 800 mark. Uh, so we are, we're making some time. Today was a good day. Um... We're going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of, well, we don't know yet. We're going to go to the shelter, which is like about a mile down here. We're going to have dinner. It's 4.15 right now. And then we're going to see how we feel. We might hike another two or three miles down to the James River. There's some campsites. Uh, once we go over the river, um, uh, we read about some sites that we can uh, stout camp at. Uh, so we're thinking about doing that. Um, don't know if Debbie's going to catch up to us. Uh, uh, we, we, we had two huge, not huge, but very steep and tough climbs. And uh, she, I think that's going to slow her down. I don't even know if she's going to make it to this shelter tonight. She may have to take a stealth site up here. Um, so we'll be uh, leaving her in the bed, you know, we'll be leaving her anyway. Uh, she'll be on her own. Um, so that's the plan, you know, right now. Uh, coming down, this is going to be a long, tedious uh, hike down because we've got loose rocks here and stuff. And, uh, and we're on the... The, we're on the, the the mountain to my right is blocking the breeze. So now we have no breeze here either. So we're gonna we're just gonna take our time and we'll we'll get down. Um, all right. So I will. Uh, no matter what, if we decide to stay at the shelter, well, not in it, but we'll be camped next to it. Um, or if we decide to. Uh, hike down through the James River. We're, going to, we're supposed to be going over the longest footbridge on the AT. Goes over, I believe it's the James River. I think I think this is where that, that uh, footbridge is. Um, so, if we get that far, oh, you know, definitely I'll have that uh, documented. Okay. All right. Hanging in there. We're still doing pretty good today. I feel much better since I've changed my diet. Um, 
I'm just hoping it's not a fluke that I can hold on to this uh, this new diet here, and because uh, last week was a total disaster. Uh, the week before, every day was like 15, 16, up to 20. Last week, the highest day I had was maybe nine. <laughs> so <laughs> I can't, at that rate, there's no way I'll get the Qatar in Maine. I got to get back to the previous week's mileage, 15 plus every day. I got to, uh, I got to, I got to get there or, uh, or uh, I'm not going to be able to finish before the snow flies. Although I hear it's still flying in Maine. They had to delay the opening for the southbounders because there's too much snow in, in, May, in, in Maine on, on Baxter, I mean on uh, Katahdin. Uh, they, can't, they can't get up to the summit. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. All right. All right, talk to you later. Okay. So the decision was, once I had dinner, I knew this was going to happen. Um, I got really tired, so we're going to stay here at the shelter. Well, I'm ca I'm hammocking here, see? but I'm hammocking right here. And Roy, Roy came in. He didn't even want to even consider going on. I don't know where he is. He's over. Where is he? He's over there. He's over there somewhere. He's over in this area here. He's already got his tent set up. <laughs> he didn't want to hear it. He's not going anywhere. No. He was beat. We beat him down today. Uh, and Debbie made it. Yeah, Debbie's inside. So that's good. She, she's doing pretty good. We did 15.3. So, whoops, sorry. We did 15.3. So that's not, uh, not too shabby. So I'm setting up, setting up the old hammock, and I wanted to at least let you know what what I decided to do um, before the sun went down. I'm getting a little thin, huh? Yeah. Well, we have a new diet, so we'll see how that works. <laughs> okay. See you in the morning. All right. Bye. Thank you.